I like, I like to close like this. Let me. Uh, I want. Guess I'm gonna bring up your host now. Uh, the big dog, Mark Henley. Yeah. What's up, Comedy Fight Club? How you doing tonight? <laughs> Give it up for the most offensive opening act of all time, Phil 987. Yeah. A legend amongst New York comics. As I said that, he just said Jews, just to nobody. Uh, <laughs> let's do that. Can you hit the music? Hell yeah, yeah, guys! You guys ready to get the yeah. show started tonight? Yeah. This is Comedy uh. Fight Club! This is Comedy Fight Club! This is the meanest roast battle show in the world, and this is the week before Thanksgiving! Guys, give it up for Thanksgiving! And we are gonna drop our heads. Joe and Michael, stop talking to each other. We're gonna drop our heads and say grace for Comedy Fight Club. This is the bit, drop your head. Thank you, God, for an opportunity to call each other stupid and possibly gay in front of all of our friends and the internet. We thank God for this roast battle show where it is all chaos and everyone leaves a little bit angry at each other. You guys ready for Comedy Fight Club tonight? Let's, amen, 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 amen. Jews, 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 yes, correct. I'm gonna preview these battles. Usually I tell you a little bit about each battler, but tonight we got a lot of new battlers, a lot of people I don't know. The first battle is going to be Lauren Ritter versus Jessica Persenti. Hell yeah. You guys don't have to be on stage yet. But that is help. Okay, I'm not the host of the show. Matt Marin is the host. You'll see him in a little bit. He is actually the sleeveless wonder of the world. I usually say a thing about you guys. Are you too excited for the battle? Yeah. They're very excited. They were almost ready to fight now, and I love that. Guys, give it up for them. The next battle is going to be Emma Kiernan versus Candice Mazinski. <laughs> I'm very excited about this because Emma Kiernan is the second funniest woman in all of New Jersey. She won a contest that made her the second funniest woman in all of New Jersey. And guess what? I live in New Jersey and I love other, I love, not other women. I like women. I am a man and I support Jersey women, but there's a wrinkle here. Candace was also in that contest. And she was top five undetermined number of ranking in, in Funny Women of New Jersey. But however, but that was a stand-up comedy contest, but this isn't stand-up comedy. It is like it, but not quite the same thing. Some people who are better at stand-up comedy lose to better uh, roast battlers all the time. We're gonna find out tonight. Also, this isn't fucking New Jersey. This is New York City. The rules have changed. Next up, Carla Watkins versus Joseph Ferrara. Give it up for them. I don't know either of these people, but I'm excited to meet them. <laughs> Next up, Diego Compadre and Alan Alden Skatis. <laughs> Diego is a nice guy that seems impressed that me and Ben went to Scotland earlier, which I like about him. Whereas Alden, I'm gonna give a ride home after the show. I'm hoping Alden wins so he doesn't cry on the car ride home. <laughs> But the main event, the main event are two people I am very excited about. It is going to be Rusty Wright versus Patrick Haggerty. <laughs> Rusty Wright is from Philadelphia. He is one of the best roast battlers in all of Philadelphia. He has shown out in all of our Philly shows that we have done. Pat Haggerty, on the other hand, is one of the dumbest main eventers in all of New York City. He does the dumbest jokes, but he is fucking lethal up here. Will, Rusty have come all the way from Philadelphia to beat one of our uh, New York's favorite comedians, or did he drive all the way here to lose to the dumbest roast battle main eventer in all of New York? We're gonna find out tonight. I'm excited. Give it up for the real host. Give it up for Matt Marin. <laughs> Egos will be wounded, feelings will be hurt, because we don't come here to make friends, we come here to fight! 
This is humiliation. This is brutality. Anything goes. No holds barred. This is Comedy Fight Club. Thank you all for coming out tonight. Welcome to Comedy Fight Club. Coming to you live from Bowery Electric. We have a great show in store for you tonight. Fantastic lineup of undercard battlers, followed by an amazing main event, Philadelphia versus New York. One of Philadelphia's best roast battles versus a New York roast battler, <laughs> Rusty Wright versus Patrick Haggerty. <laughs> I am the official commissioner of Comedy Fight Club, Matt Marin. <laughs> And we are on Twitter and Instagram at Comedy Fight NYC. Thanks to our team of social media hipsters, Sean McCracken, Pat Haggerty, and Nika Pav. Now, most of you guys have been to the show before. For those of you who haven't, or if you haven't been to a roast battle before, people are going to be getting up here. They're going to be saying real mean, vicious, brutal, offensive things to each other. But we're here to have a good time, so no one's going to get offended. Does that sound good? <laughs> We'll go over the rules here at Comedy Fight Club. Two fighters will get up on this stage. Each undercard fight is going to be five jokes, tit for tat. Main event is a three-round battle. And the winners of these fights will be determined by an amazing judges panel. Fight Club, give it up for our judges. <laughs> but up first, not sitting to my left, sitting in front of me right now. From this point forward, each and every one of you is Comedy Fight Club. Because your applause is going to count for one vote in each of these fights. Which means, Fight Club, I need you to have a whole lot of fucking energy. What do you say? You have some energy out there for me tonight? Yeah. All right, so when I ask you who you think the winner is, you will clap for one fighter and one fighter only. You will not clap for both because we can't have two winners, which leads to the most important rule here at Comedy Fight Club. No fucking pity claps. No fucking pity claps. <laughs> No, this is comedy fight club. This is where sympathy comes to die. If someone's going to lose up here, you will let them lose with dignity. <laughs> now let's meet our judges up first. One third of the Locker Room Talk podcast. You've seen him on the Gas Digital Network. Give it up for Bobby Sheehan. Hello. What's up? Bobby Sheehan, how you doing tonight? I'm good. I'm a little nervous. I didn't know the second funniest New Jersey female comic was here. Yeah, it's a big night for us here at Comedy it's, Fight Club. It's a big night. I'm I'm nervous. I might even take off my sweatshirt because I'm feeling a little hot. Mm. But I'm going to do that later as to not distract from the show. Yeah. Um, well, because every time he takes off his sweatshirt, the t-shirt underneath goes up a little bit, which uh, before he started working out, it didn't happen as often, suspiciously. It I'm didn't. just saying. No, Matt, what you have to do when you're when you start working out, you start trying to get a six pack, you gotta find reasons. Like when you're at the gym and you're like, I'm getting sweaty, and you do this shit. Yeah. All right, I didn't get kind of the response that I was hoping well, cause for. Well, because you're, you're still a five foot six ginger, so. I am so many. <laughs> There's reasons. only so much you can do. And I, I wanna say one thing Matt, uh, Mark mentioned that uh, stand up is different. Than, uh, than roast battling, and I can attest to that because I've beaten Ryan Long in a roast battle, <laughs> and he is famous now, and I've beaten Pedro Gonzalez in a roast battle, and he has been on Colbert. Mm. I won't give you my credits right now, but I, they are two <laughs> different things. <laughs> Bobby Sheehan, you've made a event of this show before. You've beaten much more successful comedians than you. What is your advice to the fighters coming up on stage tonight? Um, if, if you do win, really use the time after the show to network. Mm. Um, shake some hands. Maybe be like, well, I also do stand-up. You know, yeah. things like that. And I, I do want to say, the second funniest woman New Jersey comedian is here, but honestly, I'm going to go on record as saying that all women, to me, in all 50 states are number one. <laughs> Okay, except for her. <laughs> that is the second funniest woman oh. in New Jersey. You said that too. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Fight Club, give it up for Bobby Sheehan. <laughs> and up next, also from the Locker Room Talk podcast, you've seen him on the Legion of Skanks. Give it up for Joe Gorman. <laughs> What's up, Joe? How you doing tonight? What up, fuckface? I'm feeling good. How are you, man? <laughs> I'm doing all right. You excited for these battles tonight? I'm nervous, dude. I feel like the, the very heart and soul of New York hangs in the balance right with, now. With, any, with an individual battle or all of it? All of it, dude. Absolutely. We're going against fucking New Jersey, against Philadelphia. 
What's yeah. going to happen, dude? Is, is there going to be the second mass exodus of New York? Where, or like, the first was during COVID. Where's everyone right. going to go now? Probably Florida again. Yeah, Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, you've judged the show before. What is your advice? What are you looking for in these fights? I say, I, l- let me tell you something. If you're reading off your phone, if you're reading off some fucking notes, immediate disqualification, <laughs> all right? If you, don't, if you don't remember your fucking act, call the other person gay, all right? It's, it's better than breaking the tension and looking at your phone. Yes. Speak from the heart. And, and, and you know what? All, all you're trying to do is drive someone else to suicide. So as long as you knock them out of the park, we did it. Comedy Fight Club, the rules are don't break eye contact, just say a slur instead. <laughs> Fight Club, give it up for Joe Gorman. And up next, he's the original social media hipster at Comedy Fight Club. You see more roast battles than maybe anybody except for me up here. Fight Club, give it up for one of our favorites, Nico Pav. What's up, everybody? What's up, Nico? How you doing tonight? I'm doing good. I got a question for you. Yes. What's the password for the Twitter account again? I just Twitter re-downloaded account? it. Yeah, I just re-downloaded it. For the Comedy Fight Club Twitter oh, account. Oh, yeah. Rape with three E's. My bad. Okay. <laughs> uh, with an at sign, we're not dumbasses. You got to get coded a little bit. <laughs> Nico, how you feeling tonight? You ready for these fights? Yeah, I'm excited to see these fights. Uh, you we had a gr- great opener. Everybody loves Phil. Philly987321, yes. <laughs> whatever the fuck he goes by now. Uh, Nico, you've been with the show since we started at the very beginning. Yep. What are you looking for in these fights tonight? Uh, I couldn't have said it. Uh, I couldn't have said it better than Joe said it. Honestly, just when in doubt, slur it out. All when right? in doubt, go slur it, it out. Go for it. <laughs> Fight Club, give it up for Nico Pav. <laughs> And our final judge tonight, he was out in L.A. as a part of the original wave when they started Roast Battle at the Comedy Store. Fight Club, give it up for Michael Scott. Yeah. What's up, Michael? How you doing tonight? Man, I'm pretty excited. I didn't know until I got here that this is uh, Jersey versus Philly. The main event's New York versus Philly. Oh, shit. And God. then there's an earlier battle that's two Jersey people. Oh, all right. I We're like fucking this. branching out here at the Comedy Fight Club to the tri-state area. <laughs> you guys are gentrifying the Fight Club? Maybe, I mean, we usually don't have black it's people. A, <laughs> I mean, you got Jersey, Philly. It's about to be a battle with some of the corniest white people. We'll see who take the crown. All right, Michael, you've been seeing roasts for a very long time. What can the fighters do to get your vote tonight? Uh, I want to hear some very disrespectful rebuttals. Yes. All yes. Right. <laughs> rebuttals. Right on the spot rebuttals. Disrespectful, though, man. I want to hear some stuff. Some, I want to hear a couple N-words. <laughs> I want to... <Finally>! Right. <laughs> I, I, I want to hear some stuff about the Jews. Let's, let's go all out with it yes. tonight. Let's go all out with it tonight. <laughs> awesome. Michael Fight Club. Give it up for Michael Scott and all of our judges. <laughs> Now, before we get started, the show would not be what it is without our amazing officials. They make the show happen. Coming up a little later, you're going to be seeing our hype man. Give it up for Lawrence Reese. And you saw him earlier. Give it up for the big dog, Mark Henley. And closing us out tonight after his main event will be the goofball of comedy fight club, Patrick Haggerty. And finally, maybe my favorite part of the show, it is our amazing DJ Fight Club. I need you to give it up for DJ Don't Believe Women. I'm a, uh, I'm a flirt. Soon as I see her walk up in the club, I'm a flirt. Don't it what do you say, Fight Club? Are you ready to see some fights tonight? No, I need more than that. These people are going to tear each other apart for your entertainment. I said, are you ready to see some fucking fights tonight? Let's get this started up first. We have an undercard fight schedule of five jokes, tit for tat. Introducing first, she looks like a mentally unstable yoga teacher, Lauren Ritter. What's up, Lauren? How are you doing tonight? I'm feeling good, Matt. Thanks for having me. Good. You ready for this fight? Yeah, I'm ready to downward dog her ass. Yeah. We're going to meet your opponent now. She looks like the waitress who cries at the end of all of her shifts. <laughs> Jessica Pierre Vicente! Thank you so much. 
so much. Uh, yeah, my name, my name is uh, Jessica Pierre, but nobody gives a shit. <laughs> How you doing fine, tonight, Jess? You. you ready for this fight? Yeah, f- perfectly ready. I'm, I'm, I'm going to use my cell phone, but fuck, okay. your, fuck your mom. You can also call her gay in addition to reading I off might, your cell I phone. <laughs> I would be gay for her. Aww. Aww. Love you, Lauren. I love you, Lauren. We're off to a fun start uh, that I'll be thinking about later tonight. And <laughs> <laughs> Five jokes, tip for tat. Jessica, Lauren, which one of you two wants to go first? I'll go first. Jessica's going first. Lauren's going second. Fight Club, are you ready for this fight? Five jokes starting with Jessica. This fight starts now. Uh, Lauren, Lauren, you look like you're so, you're just so basic and so white. You look like you just got fucked by a bunch of lacrosse players. (laughs) And liked it. Keep it going for Jennifer Aniston with Down syndrome, everybody. That's good, that's good, that's good. Jess's ex dumped her after reading her diary, which is the first time anyone gave a fuck about what she had to say. First blood. Your, your, your mom's a, no, never mind. Um, no, you look like you just recruited me for Nexium, like right now. Huh. <laughs> I mean, are you down? No, okay. Um, Jess originally got her big break as an actress as the lead in Seabiscuit until they realized the horse had better acting skills. Ooh. Okay, all right. That, that, that one hurt. I got that. Um, you look like you just called the cops on some black kid selling lemonade. Probably. Keep it going for the Walmart version of Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, okay. <laughs> you look like you don't vaccinate your kids. <laughs> At least I don't look like I have kids. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Jess much. is an administrative assistant at a financial firm supporting 16 executives, which is perfect for her because she's <laughs> used to juggling multiple old dicks. <laughs> Last joke. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, is that five? Um, all right. Well. No, three. Oh, two more. <laughs> Lauren, Lauren, this is a lot. Lauren, I give you a C for your comedy. But for your boobs, I give you an A, because you're just, they're so tiny. And also, um, we know that not from your Hooters joke, but because you've shown them to half the male comedians here. So. <laughs> None of them are here, only your boyfriend. Oh, thank you. Hey, guys. <laughs> Sick burn. <laughs> Guys, Jessica's exes all compare her to Princess Diana because having sex with her is like fucking a dead body. Ooh. Um, hey, where are the white women at? You're so, you're so white and basic. All right, I'm going to think of one right now. You're so white and basic that you probably have an alcoholic brother. Oh, wait, you do. You do. Ho, shut the Andrew. fuck up. <laughs> Last hey guys, Jess fucks middle-aged men with bad credit, but I'm not going to talk about it because this is not a roast of her uncles. <laughs> fight Club, fight. give it up fight. for your first fight of the night! <laughs> Go to our judges, starting with you guys, Fight Club. Clap if you think the winner of this fight is Jessica Piervicente. Or is the winner of this fight, Lauren Ritter. (laughs) Crowd vote goes to Lauren. We'll go to our judges. Bobby Sheehan, we'll start with you. What'd you think of this fight? (laughs) Matt, you're telling me these are two different people. I thought this was fun. I knew it was going to be fun because you guys brought this fun energy. You came up to the, sh- to the stage before you were even welcome to come to the stage. <laughs> I thought that was very cool. We had, you guys were going back and forth. I like that. I feel like you've talked shit about each other before, but this is the first time you've done it face to face. You know what I mean? This is very fun. And, and uh, you had the one joke of, uh, about, about her looking like Jennifer uh, uh, Aniston, but with Down syndrome. Yeah. And that was you. Yeah. You're the one with Down syndrome? I'm the one with Down syndrome. Now, so guys, Jennifer Aniston with Down syndrome. Is that? I'd still fuck her. You, you, okay. I'd also fuck her. You would, okay. I, well, you can, Matt, can we do another crowd applause? 
Fight Club, would you fuck Down Syndrome Danifer Aniston? All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to vote for whoever wrote that joke, which I already forgot. Lauren, Lauren yes. you wrote that joke? I wrote it. I, and the crowd voted for you? Honestly, the whole plan all along was to vote for whoever you guys voted for, because I want you to like me. So, good job, both of you. Go with Lauren. Another vote for Lauren Ritter. Joe Gorman, what do you think of this fight? I think both these comics are afraid of losing their day job, Matt. Because they're... They're like, I can't fucking call this woman this or that. I could fucking, they could get back. I could lose my high power fucking accounting or attorney or what. They, there's multiple commas in that paycheck. Right. I can tell you that. Much. Also, I feel like they also genuinely like each other, which is another kiss of death in Comedy Fight Club. <laughs> Where it's like, I don't want to fucking devastate this person. I she want did to say, your mom... No, wait, I can't yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're holding back. And, oh, did I knock out? Whatever, dude. I'll buy another $7 Coke. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it was, it was powerful. I, I did like when they, they got up, when Mark Henley introduced them, and they got on stage, like, fuck, fuck waiting for Matt Marin, the, the non-sleeveless, sleeveless wonder to introduce. So I thought that was fun and powerful. Uh, any meeny miny white woman, I'm going with Lauren. <laughs> Another vote for Lauren Ritter. Nico Pav. Yo, this was a great battle. You guys were just evenly horrible. That was amazing. Like, I'm so happy that the two soccer moms drunk carpooled here tonight. So that's fucking dope. Hell yeah. Uh, th this was this was this was a lot of fun. Uh, I honestly want to vote for. Um, Jessica. I don't give a fuck. Um, <laughs> Guess no, two white girl names. You'll get to Lauren and Jessica soon enough. <laughs> there, yeah. Uh, if I wanted to vote for Jess because I remember it during the second joke, you were like, well, your mom's a... Well, I can't say that. And I was like, I think she was about to say the N-word. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to give it to Lauren because she had some jokes and she was kind of steady with it, so she had a little bit more better writing when she had more of a applause reaction to, or a crowd reaction with the jokes. But great job, guys. Uh, great, great Another first Another vote for Lauren Ritter. She's got it wrapped up. But Michael Scott, final thoughts on the fight. Oh, man. Uh, I, I, it's hard for me to pick a winner because I felt like we all lost. <laughs> uh, but I'm not going to be too mean. Um, cause, uh, both of y'all look like y'all got a couple false sexual allegations under y'all belt. <laughs> <laughs> they might remember me. <laughs> you judged against my battle. Anyway, uh, Lauren? Yes. Lauren? I like that you called her a single mom. Like, there, there's nothing worse than a single mom. So I... I, I got to get a disrespect factor to you, so I give it to Lauren. Another vote for Lauren Ritter. Very fun fight, but give it up for the winner, Lauren Ritter! You win! What do you say, Fight Club? Are you ready for your next fight? Not any more than that, Fight Club. I said, are you ready for your next fight? Yeah. Introducing first, the closest she'll ever come to being a successful comedian is looking like Chris Farley, Emma Kiernan! We used to be number 10. Now we permanently won in the battle, lost my finger. Fight became my What's up, Emma? How you doing? You ready for this fight? <laughs> because you're the second funniest woman in all of New Jersey. That's why. <laughs> We're going to meet your opponent now. She looks like if girl who drinks whiskey is a personality. Candace Musinski! And it is. <laughs> What's up, Candace? How you doing tonight? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you? Good. You ready for this fight? Fuck yeah. All right. Can't five fucking wait. <laughs> five jokes to protect. <laughs> this is the two kinds of girls who drive motorcycles but shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> five jokes to protect. Emma, Candace, which one of you two wants to go first? Me. Candace is going first. Emma's going second. Fight Club, I need some energy. Are you ready for this fight? Yeah. Five jokes starting with Candace. This fight starts now. Yo, yo, yo! What's up, everybody? I'm so excited because I heard Comedy Fight Club, and I heard Fight Club, and that's like my favorite movie, right? 
And I was like, I guess I'm going up against my favorite character, uh, Bob Bitch Tits. Bob from therapy who takes estrogen and gets tits. Oh my God. What is who, who the fuck is you? Who the fuck is you? Obviously, like joining competition, she can't win. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Bad alcoholic, and you know, like I figured, why not use this rose battle time to have people that you love come and like give statements as to how it's impacting them? But no one got back to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. Er- Emma's parents gave her up at birth. <laughs> They knew she was gay when she came out the womb with a short haircut and a flannel. And that's why they gave her up. (laughs) No, seriously though, Emma was adopted, but both of her adoptive parents died. Uh, Which is sad because if they could see her now, they'd be like, excuse me, young man, do you know where our daughter is? Hey, hey, comedy, huh? Woo. Emma is engaged. Uh, Her and her fiance are cat ladies, which makes total sense. Uh, But after looking at pictures of Emma and her fiance, uh, I can't tell who hits who. It's me. Domestic violence. Domestic violence. Such a big dick. <laughs> ha! Is that the joke? That's a, That's a compliment. <laughs> Yo, Emma's pronouns are gay. Yay! <laughs> My God. It is so refreshing to see a fucking straight up butch lesbian. I haven't seen one since Rosie O'Donnell in the 90s. I love that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and people think I'm butch, too, so it's cool. Like, but I'm like, yo, you think I'm butch? Like, next to you, I'm like, I have a dick, and you have a chode. Savino and Barnes, injury attorneys, 800-888-8888. Don't wait, call eight. Last joke. I felt that with lesbians. I have felt that. It pisses me off. Uh, A few years back, Emma went through a tough time where she gained 100 pounds and didn't want to do anything. And she also developed a cocaine and gambling addiction and lost everything. She lost everything except the 100 pounds. (laughs) Sensational. (laughs) I guess that's it. You got one more, Emma. Oh, I got one more. Oh, shit. Fight Club, give it up for Emma and Candace. I think they like that fight more than anybody else. We were excited. Yes. Fun, because Emma looks simultaneously like Harry Potter and someone J.K. Rowling has strong opinions about. We'll go to our judges. Michael Scott, we'll start with you. Who do you think won this fight? Well, obviously, this battle was like, it, it sucked. Yeah. This battle was pretty bad. I'm not good. It, I'm it, not it, good at it. No, it's fine. It's fine. Do you think the winner was I Emma Kiernan? You, I mean, judged me last time. you think it was, you think I mean, it was I mean, Emma Kiernan or I mean, Sadie Smith? <laughs> I mean, it's the first battle that I think I've been through because Emma, you, you didn't even want to do your last joke. So, this is like the first battle I've ever been to where the contestants didn't even make want to make it through this shit. Like, uh, that's all God. Well, let's focus. Before I, I, I tell you one, I want to focus on the positive stuff. Is Candace? Yeah. I, I like your fake black woman voice. Yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> hey, let me hear. Let me hear that. Hey, great, hey let me hear that. Yo, 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 yo. Do that for me. <laughs> Hit me up with a yo, yo, yo. <laughs> oh. Well, she gave me a Don Juan DeMarco. Yo, what's up, bro? Was, yo, what's that, up, that's dude? Right. It's like Candace's voice with Emma's body is the perfect white woman for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Yo, you want to fuck? You want to fuck? <laughs> She's a, they, they, they both studs. 
I don't know. It seemed like y'all both should just go ahead and get married and adopt the African kid. <laughs> So what's that, who is that a vote for? Uh, I give it to Candace. Candace. You know, I, I like Candace because on a disrespectful tip, she put it out there that she don't like gay people. <laughs> I did a few jokes. That's one Candace. vote for Candace. Sneak up, have. Um, I, I just want to say, Candace, when you walked on stage, you had the most confident one-two step to your intro music. <laughs> but as we all found out, that those boots were made for walking a room. Um... <laughs> <laughs> This was a great battle between the first and third base softball coaches. Um, <laughs> Emotional damage. <laughs> oh, why well, nice? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, wait, Emma, your parents are dead. Oh yeah. Fucking loser. Uh, Not her real ones. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to Candace just for the one two step. That was it was good. It was good. Yeah, it was good. I like another it. vote for Candace. Fight Club. We're gonna go to you guys now. Do you think the winner of this fight is Emma Kiernan? No. <laughs> or is the winner of this fight Candace Musinski? Crowd vote goes to Candace. Everyone else wondering who the first funniest person in New Jersey had to have been at that tournament. <laughs> We'll go over to our judges now. We'll have our butch lesbian judge to judge the butch lesbian battle. Joe Gorman. Oh, hell yeah, man. Damn, when, when Candace got up and said, yo, 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 I was like, she got the urban vote. And then <laughs> Michael Scott, he was like, yeah, I'm going to vote for her. I was like, ah, absolutely, the man. That was very, it was very cool. Uh, Emma, you made me laugh before you even got on stage, just like saying shit in the audience. And I didn't know, I, I'm... I'm not abreast of New Jersey comedy. I had to leave for various reasons four years ago. Uh, but I, so I didn't know. I thought you I were don't just believe like a, any of the allegations. Th thank you. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but I, I thought, okay, cool. And then, but then you came up on stage to perform. So I thought it was like in pro wrestling when like sometimes like a person in the audience like, hey, fuck you, wrestler. And then like they get up on stage like, what the fuck's going on? And it's yeah. like, oh, they're actually a wrestler too. Yeah. You know, so I thought that was very cool. And, 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 and because of that and because I also have a problem with cocaine and I... I Sometimes I'll do like a fucking like an entire fucking bag of coke. I'm like, man, I'm gonna be fucking skinny tomorrow. I'm gonna fit into size 32 jeans. Wrong. It sucks, right, dude? Being a fucking coke addict in your 30s sucks because you don't have the fucking metabolism afterwards. You need to take a hot shower and use a neti pot the next morning. So, because you know those trials and tribulations, I'm voting for you. That's one vote for Emma, three for Candace. Candace has it wrapped up, and Bobby Sheehan, final thoughts. Well, I, it wasn't a great roast battle, but I think this year, Comedy Fight Club is going to have a great roller derby team. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to be... Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. I am the I, I, I'm the opposite of Joe. I think drugs are very bad and harmful. Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, they um, make your joke writing suck. Yeah. <laughs> You know, we're going to talk about this afterwards. Yeah. Uh, and um, uh, I like Emma's... Uh, uh, you were very funny just now. Uh, someone asked if your parents were dead, and you went, oh, yeah, and I thought that was very... That was good. Um, that comeback would have been great during the battle. Uh, but you did you did make a joke about her having a chode, I think. Not the other way around. You made the joke about having a chode. Yeah, about her having a chode. Okay, so your joke was that Emma had a chode. Okay, well, I, you know, I, we like to joke around a lot, but some things are... I think a little bit off limits, like what guys' penises look like and whether or not it's surprising looking or weird looking or has a strange smell to it. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to have to go with Candace. Another vote for Candace. Fight Club, give it up for the winner of this fight, Candace Musinski. Matt, yo, do you yo, think yo, when yo, we were yo, yo, Do you think when I mentioned like having to leave New Jersey and you said you don't believe the allegations? The audience doesn't think I raped anyone in New Jersey, do oh, they? I, oh, I hope not, right? Yikes, dude. No, we would yep. never want anyone to believe. Yeah. yeah. You. Yeah. yeah. We I would just never didn't want yeah. anyone to think that you had sex with a woman from New Jersey. Right. Thank God, yeah. dude. <laughs> standards. Yeah. I just wanted to pay New York taxes like everyone else. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Fight Club. We got two more on Those guys just fights. left. They're probably going to report me for raping someone yeah. in New Jersey. <laughs> we got him. The New Jersey rapist. Yes. <laughs> 
Fight Club. We got two more undercard fights, and then our main event. Now that the bar has been lowered, what do you say? You ready for more fights? <laughs> Bring on the men. <laughs> Your next fight. Introducing first, she looks like she gives road head to the crash test dummy, Carla Watkins. <laughs> What's up, Carla? How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Good. Is that mic on? He's really fucked. Why are you doing this? There is a switch on the microphone. Hello. <laughs> Carla, how are you doing? You ready for this fight? I'm a professional, so I realized the mic was off. I don't know what everyone else is doing, but... Not pro not professional enough to hit the switch on the microphone, but we got there. <laughs> that's, true, that's true. We're going to be your opponent now. He looks like he writes letters to Elon Musk that don't get returned. It's Joseph Ferraro. Me. What's up, Joseph? How you doing tonight? I'm pretty good. Good. You ready for this fight? Yeah. All right, it's five jokes, tip for tat. Carla, Joseph, which one of you two wants to go Ladies first? Ladies first, Joseph. <laughs> five jokes, starting with Joseph Fight Club. What do you say? Are you ready for this fight? <laughs> five jokes, starting with Joseph. This fight starts now. At age nine, I saw my mom have a heart attack. I'd rather relive that experience than watch her do stand up again. Ayo. I like that one. Fuck y'all. Uh, one one really cool thing about Joseph actually is him and his, him and his mom used to party hard, uh, but they had to stop because she had to give birth to him. So. First blood. Uh, she looks like on dates that she asks for your pronouns, then after dates, uh, claims rape. <laughs> Alright, that's tough. Subino and Barnes, injury attorneys, 800-888-8888. Hi, I feel like I should go easy on him here. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not going to. Uh, Joe looks like a bitch, sounds like a bitch. Ironically, never been with a bitch. <laughs> Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Carla hangs out with a bunch of black comics, hoping one day they'll let her say the N word. <laughs> That's tough. No. Nope. All right, all right. Uh, Joseph, we're not gonna. They can't hear out there. Uh, Joseph is only 20, so he still has a few years left to become successful at school shootings. Just, just to, wow, just to, dude! Just to be clear. Uh, comedy is not working for her, so she started a Twitch career. She's one surgery away from being a cam girl. Kill yourself. <laughs> this is tough. <laughs> uh, fun fact about Joseph. He went to college on a sports scholarship, which explains why he got kicked out of college. Straight up! Last joke. She moved from Miami to become a stand-up comedian, and the best show she can get on is with a 20-year-old. I feel like, that was decent, that was decent. All right. The one roasting him is being nice, that's when you know it's fucked. Uh, all right, last one. This is, okay, Joseph's mom believed in him so much that she tested him for autism four times. Your autism even made your mom retarded. Uh-oh, retard alert. Retard alert, class. Fight Club, give it up for Joseph and Carla. Oh, I loved her saying that was decent in the middle. It's like when a prostitute takes the kid's virginity. Like, you're, you're doing okay. You're doing all right. <laughs> We're going to go to our judges. We'll start with you guys. Fight Club, do you think the winner of this fight is Joseph Ferraro? No. 
Savino and Barnes Injury attorneys Or is the winner of this fight Carla Watkins I popped pop my rose cherry That was my first one Crowd vote goes to Carla. Bobby Sheehan, we'll start with you. Who do you think won this fight and why was it Carla? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been waiting for the masculine energy to come to the stage, so thank you, Carla. I appreciate it. That was very cool. Joseph, you look like you say this is lit fam while she pegs you. <laughs> I, thought, I thought this is this very fun. Uh, um, she said you get no bitches, but you're only 20 years old, and I once knew a 20-year-old who didn't lose their virginity until they were almost 21, and that guy grew up to judge Comedy Fight Club. <laughs> All right, it gets better, Joseph. Keep trying. Say, you know, you'll be fine, and uh, I think we started this by saying, when in doubt, slur it out, and what did Carla say as her last joke? <laughs> Retard. <laughs> And it worked. And t tonight, Carla, you're not the retard. You're the winner. Good job. Another vote. Another vote for Carla Watkins. That's the most beautiful retard line I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Joe Gorman. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, Bobby, I would disagree with uh, her last roast joke being uh, saying retarded. I would say that the best roast joke was at the end when you said this is my first roast battle. Because it was like, holy shit, right? Like right out of the gate. Yeah. Joseph, like I, I like that. I like that you're you're open, you're the first joke you said, and the audience didn't react, you're like, fuck you, audience, you're wrong. I believe in myself, I'm a white man and infallible. <laughs> this this audience of of POCs and, and and women, they're fucking wrong. And if I if I could bring my gun in here, I would I would let them know. It's like, I mean, come on, dude. You already came in here under 21. And they can bring in a gun too, right? That's good. That would be sick if you got it, this place shut down. But for the record, he's not drinking, all right? Maybe after this set, right? Who knows, right? No, don't. Not on film. Maybe, maybe behind the Patreon wall, right? We'll see that, that one. Dude. Uh, it, take, it takes a lot of heart. Is this your first roast battle? Yeah. Okay, well then, there, well, everyone fucking chill out a little bit. Everyone fucking chill out. He, they're young. They got their lives ahead of... Look, dude, I didn't lose my virginity until tw 20, and it's fucking downhill after that. Clearly, right? Look, these are like the two guys that lose their virginity at 20. Fucking sucks, dude. The yin and yang of incel right here. Yikes. Um, so I guess, yeah, maybe... maybe uh, I would say go back to college. Um, Carla, congratulations. Another, <laughs> another vote for Carla. Nico Pav, how old were you when you lost your virginity? Uh, I was 19. Uh, yeah, uh, I... You like a 14-year-old that would lose it. Nah, man, nah, I was way too into Pokemon. I mean, uh, not, not because he was like no, good with no. women. He just had like a touchy uncle. No, <laughs> well, no, um, uh, cousin. Uh, uh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. She had great nails, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, no, nah, like I lost it uh, in my job. Uh, this this is my judging portion. Uh, nineteen, uh, I lost it on table nineteen in the place where I served uh, was I served tables. Uh, yeah, and then uh, the next morning uh, there was a cake, uh, and I was like, oh shit, whose birthday is it? And then they brought me into the office, and then they played the camera, and they were like, congratulations, bud. And then we watched me lose my virginity in nine seconds flat. That was fucking awesome. Yep. Oh, yeah. Best best time yet. Oh, dude. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I still got it. It's fucking dope. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, this was a dope fight between uh, a Twitch couple. This is funny. Um, back back to the jokes here. Uh, Joseph, you got to make your punchlines like your mom's heart attack. All right? Strong enough to kill. All right? He likes it. Fuck you guys. All right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. All right, no, we're not going to If Joseph likes the joke, it's objectively good. Yeah, yeah. I like how Carla looks like he sells Joseph, uh, she sells Joseph weed, but then steals it back from him <laughs> as well. I love that. That's so dope. Um, Joseph, has def Joseph has definitely smoked oregano before. Oh, oh for sure. And I, and I sold it to him for $80 an eighth. Um, by the way, uh, New Jersey rapist, 22% THC, indica dominant hybrid. Uh, hit me up after the show. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go with Carla, but I just, I just gotta say there was nothing strange, there was nothing uh, weird about it, and honestly, Bobby's dick doesn't smell at all. So I just want to yeah. say that one time, yeah, it's a callback to the, to the yeah, it's a, all right. you're welcome, bro. Yeah. 
Bobby's dick. Bobby's dick is great. Bobby's dick. It's another vote for Carla. <laughs> Michael Scott. Uh, you know why I got this on. This was a damn murder. <laughs> this is a damn murder. <laughs> this is a damn murder. Uh, damn, you only 20, man? That's good you did this bar battle. Uh, Carla just showed you what it takes to be a man. All right. <laughs> I don't know, man. It seemed like Carla had a lot of personal information about you. She looked like she's fucking a drug dealer that keeps selling you Adderall pills. <laughs> I give it to Carla. Another vote for Carla. Fight Club. Give it up for the winner of this fight, Carla Watkins. Yeah. And now, Fight Club, we got one more undercard fight before our main event. What do you say? Are you ready for your final undercard fight of the night? <laughs> Introducing first, he looks like the busboy that sniffs all the women's seats after they leave, Diego Campo Verde. <laughs> Is spot the fuck on. Wow. What's up, Diego? Or should I say every Mexican wrestler without their mask? <laughs> you ready for this fight, Diego? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm high as fuck. I'm ready to bully a white kid. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. We are going to meet your opponent now. He looks like he does the Beavis and Butthead laugh every time a woman says, Hey, please let me go. Alden Skeetis! <laughs> There's a music in the streets. There's a music nice. in the air. What's up, Alden? How you doing tonight? Good. I'm still hard from that Nico sex story. God damn. <laughs> you ready for this fight tonight? Yes, sir. All right. It's five jokes, tip for tat. Alden, Diego, which one of you two wants to go first? You can go first. Cool. Alden's going first. Diego's going second. Fight Club, what do you say? Are you ready for this fight? Five jokes starting with Alden. This fight starts now. Diego Campo Verde has a pet pit bull, which is ironic because he looks like the rapper Pitbull fucked a gay Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mr. Three Hour Cinco. Um, Alden looks like he smoked. Alden looks like he's jerks off to the smell of things. Oh, uh, <laughs> she wears head and shoulders. On his arm, Diego, Diego has a tattoo of a fish to resemble the smell of his mom's pussy after a 12-hour shift selling mango slices in the subway. <laughs> Get over here! Looks like the guy at the end of every BBC takes over my wife. Got, oh fuck, I fucked that shit up. Right. Oh brother, this guy stinks! I fucked that shit up. Nah, it's alright. It's alright, you got it. Do it! He looks like the guy at the end of every. My wife fucks the BBC. Oh brother, this guy stinks! What is? It's all right. Fuck. What does Alt? <laughs> ah, fuck out of here. One more time. <laughs> One more time. One more time. One more time. Yeah. Shh. All right. Let me read it then. I'm gonna go off the notes. <laughs> Into the mouth. Sound it out. End of every the BBC. Fuck my wife. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. We're never going to find out what Alda's wife does on the British Broadcasting Corporation. I know. I, know. I want to know. Jeez. Uh, 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 this guy has more strands of hair than jokes at work. Oh, 
<laughs> One more time. <laughs> Diego is from Ecuador, home of the largest living tortoise, the Galapagos tortoise, or in Spanish called Diego's grandma. <laughs> Uh, his grandma's a tortoise. <laughs> the tortoise is named Diego, bro. Ah. <laughs> Alden looks like the retarded cousin that tried to draw Perry the Platypus. I can't fucking what? stutter today. All I do is stutter. I can't even fucking stutter. Say it, say it. He looks like my cousin tried to retard. My retarded cousin tried to draw Perry the Platypus. Oh my goodness. See you one time? No, fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, Lawrence! <laughs> Uh-oh, retard alert! Retard alert, class! Class, Joe. Uh, Diego's day job, he sells watches. He likes to put a watch below him while he butt fucks his boss, Greg, so he can become gay over time. <laughs> I have eight. <laughs> <laughs> to prove he's not racist, Alden has a list of all his black friends ready. Jerome, Sadiq, and Miles with the Y. He ain't got no black friends. Diego. <laughs> 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 Fight Club, give it up for Alden and Diego! We're gonna go to our judges. Michael Scott, we'll start with you. Alden clearly had the better jokes, but suspiciously the name Michael was not on his list of black friends. So, what do you say? Um, uh, I never saw these, these two guys battle. Uh, I saw the flyer and I was like, damn, I, I, I definitely know which is which. Like, he totally looks like a Diego and you totally look like an Alden. Um, I'm gonna have to say, uh, I relate to you, Diego, but I can't give it to you, man. That was horrible. Like, you, I already know what's going on, man. You done did so much coke, like, your, your jaw, your, your, your jaw is numb. Like, yeah, uh, but I don't know. If it ain't coke, which drug is it, man? Man, we gave you three times to do one joke over and over again. You still, it gotta be something, man. It's my first roast, all right? All right, I got you, I got you. Uh, <laughs> Nico Pav. Alden. Another vote for Alden <laughs> Skeeter. <Skeenis. laughs> I will say this. I will say this. Best mango slices in the subway. I ain't gonna lie. Best mango slices in the subway. Also, yo, he talk about your grandma. How you gonna let that slide? That's good. <laughs> the Tortutus, or whatever the fuck it was called. So, so far, two votes yeah. for Alden, none for the Uber driver who talks too much. We're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna go to you guys now, Fight Club. Do you think the winner of this fight is Diego Campo Verde? Yeah. Or, or is the winner of this fight Alden Skeeter? Yes. Yes, sir. Crowd vote goes to Alden. Joe Gorman, what do you think? Uh, I think this audience doesn't know how hard it is to do a roast battle in a foreign language, all right? <laughs> Diego's out, he's trying his fucking hardest, dude, and everyone's fucking laughing at him. English is fucking hard. Diego, I'll vote for you right now if you say the roast joke you failed to say yes! twice. Yes! If, yes! I want, I want yeah. you to show these fucking, yes. Yes. these immigrant-hating Americans. <laughs> Lo digo en español porque es el hijo de puta. ¡Oh, my God! ¡Gracias! 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 Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> That's cool, too. That's yeah, I'll vote for you. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Alden's going to win, but I'll It is do very it. funny. Yeah, Alden already had it wrapped up, but you get one vote now. <laughs> Thank one you, vote. Joe, thank you. Doesn't Diego look like the waiter on a cruise ship who only knows how to say the things on the menu in English, but everything else still in Spanish? <laughs> Bobby Sheehan, it's wrapped up. But your thoughts? Oh, I, it's clear that Spanish is a romance language because we were tooling on him for 
minutes on end, and then he speaks in Spanish, and we all lost our minds. Yeah. We're like, this bald guy just became the handsomest man in this room. That's crazy. Yeah. And I'm glad you called him Gay Pitbull, because you look like you sing Gasolina while you burn a woman's torso. <laughs> that was cool. Um, uh, oh, uh, Alden, you look like every white guy in a BBC fucks my wife porn. Was that what it was? There we go. Keep it going uh, for uh, that uh, joke, uh, folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good job. I like the Spanish version better. <laughs> but that's another vote for Alden. Great fight, but give it up for your winner, Alden Skeetis. <laughs> and now, before our big Philadelphia versus New York main event, we are going to hear from the hype man of comedy fight club. Give it up for Lawrence Reed. <laughs> Short nigga but my dick tall. <laughs> what a touch of bitch tall. Alright, you're gonna leave it like that? Alright, give it up for Fight Club, y'all. Clap for Fight Club. Woo! Come on, give it up for Fight Club. Clap loudly, man. Clap loudly. There we go. There we go. Now, Matt, you're gonna have to remind me of the battles. The first battle. First up was Lauren versus Jessica. You don't even fucking know. What's wrong with you? Alright, give it up for the first battle. Give it up for two white women. I don't know who was who. I, don't, I thought they was like the same person. Like every joke she was making, she could have made it by herself. That was the craziest shit to me. She was like, oh my God, you look pregnant. Oh my God, you white girl. I was like, yes, it's boring, bro. Yeah, I could have done this in Starbucks, man. Get the fuck out of here. All right, what's the next battle? Candace versus Emma. Candace versus Emma, get up for that battle. Yeah. Um, was that, was that the Jersey girl? Yes. All right, it was the, the Bush lesbian, right? Yes. Okay. The bitch that was the second funniest girl in Jersey. Yes. Second funniest. <laughs> so they said she was funny. <laughs> For, shit, you serious? Like, you're not joking. It says it on her Instagram. Like, I, can, I can Google. It's, oh, so we put... You're lying, you're all right, all right. So that's, that's her credit. That's her credit. Yes. So you can just write second funniest and be like... <laughs> You get booked at CFC because you're second funniest. She was the second funniest in that battle, too. So that's why y'all... That, that is true. <laughs> so that got her booked here, being second funniest. So if I say I'm the funniest nigga in the Bronx, I get booked. Second funniest. Second funniest. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you don't want to seem too unrealistic. I don't. Like, I've never seen anyone funny in Jersey. <laughs> Believe it. Who was the other girl she went against? Uh, Candace. Candace. Blanca. Who's Candace? Anybody? Is she still in here? No, she's the one who left. She is? All right, that's good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Do y'all know, like, y'all know Candace? But do you know Candace? Candace Dick from your mouth, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you, you feel me? You feel me? That's for the niggas. That's for the niggas, son. <laughs> Come on, yo. You thought, you, you, you thought I wasn't going to do that? Come on, yo. They can't. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hey, yo. <laughs> Right. People. <laughs> hey yo, what the fuck? Come on. Come on. You know why people like that shit too. Stop it. Oh, God. What, what's the next battle? It's Carla versus Joseph. Give it up for Carla. <laughs> Give it up for Carla. She beat the shit out of that little nigga. Yo, that's crazy, son. Like, that's, how he sneak in the club to get beat that bad? That's, that's sad, bro. He gotta go home and tell his mom how his day was. After that, she's like, "Did you love? Did you do anything cool today?" He's like, "I lost to a woman. Get the fuck out of my house." Like, hey, that's sad. And it was his first battle, right? Yeah. All right, get up for him for having his first battle. It was hers too. It was hers. It was hers. So like, it don't even matter that was his first battle. Yeah. You know? She took that from him too. That's crazy. I'm, my favorite line was she said, "You look like a bitch, act like a bitch, and don't get no bitch." I'm like, I feel that. I feel that. You don't get no bitches at all. But get up for Carla. She won that shit. Honest question, does anybody remember any Joe Carla told? No. Yes. I, I didn't ask you. I didn't ask you. You remember? Yes. It sounded like Cap. It sounded like a lie. Give me a minute. All right. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> no. I'm not. This is my time. I'm reclaiming my time. I'm <laughs> reclaiming This nigga's so black, he tying his shoes on the stage. 
<laughs> there's, there's, there's rum right there. Right, who's the last battle? Last one was um, Alden versus Diego. You're up for Alden. That's good. Well, Diego, why you were so nervous, man? My first one, bro. My bad. That's not a reason no more. So I was Carlos for about two, nigga. You're not bad. Nice no, nigga. No, nigga. I never got that last joke. I still want to hear it. Bro. I'm gonna go home on the train and think about like, what did Diego say to make him so mad? No, no, no English. That's true, but you're Spanish too, so you can't make. Really, wait, so what, 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 what did he say though? Tell us. Tell us what he said. That's what it was. Yeah. Damn, Diego, you suck. <laughs> Uh, you you bombed in English and Spanish. That's bad, bro. Like, I turned the channel for you and you still bombed, bro. And it bombed. It did. El Bomber. El El Bomber, yeah. Because Diego, Diego don't know this battle was bigger than what he thought it was. He was fighting Mexicans versus Trump people. All this he is a Trump supporter. Uh oh. Uh, guess, that's a good thing. I'd like to change my vote. Really? You, for real? Yeah. You can't change now. Oh, it's too late. Uh, if only. If only. If only. So if you, if you, if you do that before the battle, you would have voted for I would have absolutely voted for Aldo. Are you saying it because I'm not a Trump supporter? Oh, are you? I thought you were. Yes, I am. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that battle, but uh, who won again? Uh, Aldo. Yeah, I just wanted to, to say it just to make Diego more mad. <laughs> Cause like we know he lost and he's sitting there mad like, like he's gonna ride off in the sunset he want, he's gonna put his Rey Mysterio mask on just disappear and shit like I wanna buy you something we do a table now and what's the last battle? Main event Philadelphia Rusty Wright versus New York Patrick Haggerty I'm going for New York dog I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for New York but Patrick Haggerty has a he just hates niggas so <laughs> like he hates them so I don't know why. That's the, what is that for bro what can you blame me? I can't I can't blame you. I can't blame you. I hate niggas just as much as you do. All right, that's my time. Get up your host on. The hype man, Lawrence Reese. My favorite part of that is when he tried to crowd work and said that sounds like cap and realized it was a white person and immediately said, no, I mean a lie. <laughs> All right, now, Fight Club, what do you say? It is time for our main event of the evening. Yeah. Two people who've been doing this show for a long time, two of our absolute best. It's Philadelphia versus New York. Fight Club, I need all the energy you have. Are you ready for this main event? Yeah. Introducing first. He looks like the meth head all the other meth heads think is a loser. Rusty Right! That could have gone either way, that for sure. <laughs> How you doing tonight, Rusty? Feeling good. I, uh, I have no idea why you needed me to drive all the way up here to roast. You guys have so many great competitors in this scene. <laughs> We are gonna meet your opponent now. He's the official goofball of Comedy Fight Club. He looks like an Oompa Loompa who got really into CrossFit. Patrick Haggerty! You're a goofy goober! One of our most interesting roast battlers we have here in New York. Patrick, how you doing tonight? I'm doing good. Now, it's been said tonight that I'm a bad roast battler and that I hate black people. And I'm here to say that I am a good roast battler. <laughs> This is going to be a three-round fight, four jokes in each round. Start off with four jokes in round one. Patrick, Rusty, which one of you two wants to go first? I'll go first. Patrick's going first. Rusty's going second. Fight Club, what do you say? One more time, are you ready for this main event? Woo! Four jokes starting with Patrick. Round one starts now. Round one. Hmm. Rusty Wright? More like Rusty thinks Kanye was right about the Jews. First blood. Uh, first off, I want to say DEFCON 3. DEFCON 3. DEFCON 3. I'm going to start a riot. That's all I wanted to do. DEFCON 3rd Reich? I'm into it. Yeah. 
All right, first off, I want to say congratulations on transitioning to a real boy. Uh, Patrick looks like a bulimic UFC fighter that binged steroids and then threw up all the muscles. Damn, Rust son, where'd you find this? Where did you find it? Rusty writes, init Rusty writes initials are RW, which is fitting because his mom is really whoring it up. <laughs> Oh, he didn't even get a sound effect for that one. Jesus. Uh, every battle that Pat has ever done, he does an initials joke. Uh, I think that's because his initials are PH, which stands for please help. I don't know how to write a joke, but I'm too proud to quit comedy. <laughs> Rusty right? More like Rusty left. Because Rusty is a libtard who voted for all Sleepy Joe. How you liking those gas prices, you bleeding heart jackass? You smart. You smart. Yeah, Pat prefers anti jokes because he was clearly molested by his uncle. Uh, this is a true story. Thank you. This is a true story. Uh, Pat once wrestled for an all-boys school and played in the band. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I meant that he once was banned from a school for play wrestling all the boys. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. You really, wow. mixed, you really mixed up a lot of words in that. You, you might have to get that checked out. That's uh, a... <laughs> <Last joke. laughs> you know, it's fitting that his name is Rusty. Because I hope he oxid dies of cancer. That's a pretty good joke. Oxidize? Oxidize? All this dude's. All of this dude's jokes sound like hostage notes, and the ransom is never a punchline. <laughs> Pat Haggerty has a face made for magazines. As in, I want to put a magazine in my Glock and unload the whole thing in his face. <laughs> also, faggot. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, he said it. I haven't said that word this whole fight yet. Yeah, it was really throwing me off. <laughs> fight Club, give it up for round one of this main event. <laughs> Very fun start. We'll go to our judges, Michael Scott. We don't have to pick a winner yet. We're going to go all three rounds. But so far after round one, what are you feeling about this fight? Uh, give it up for these two headliners here. Oh, what? All right. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm thankful y'all came to this platform to do this because y'all could have did this shit on a Twitch stream. Like, <laughs> um, but I ain't going to take up a lot of time. I'm going to give it to Rusty because, I, like, I don't know. You, ca you caught me at the end with the whole faggot shit. Like, that was a good... Like, you already had him, but then at the end, he's like, you know, and faggot. Like, so he was stealing my try. joke. All right. <laughs> you got to represent better for the bottoms, man. Oh, really yes. Yeah, anti-gay jokes, another way to get the urban vote. Nico Pav. <laughs> a little known fact, a lot of people don't know this, the J in Donald Trump stands for Joe Biden. Ah, no, <laughs> Great. This is this is a lot of fun to see two stepdads who fuck each other's wives uh, battle it out. Um, it's gonna be a good battle. You guys are starting off strong. You guys have a good uh, tit for tat and this nice flow. The next round is just gonna be straight out, and I can't wait to see when you're gonna say faggot, Patrick. Uh, it's, uh, it's gonna be amazing. All right, Joe Gorman, your thoughts after round one? Oh my God! At first, I was like, another fucking victim of Matt Marin. He he convinced Rusty to drive all the way out here from Philadelphia and fed him to the lion, and then, <laughs> lo and behold, Rusty pulls out this fucking diamond by saying faggot at the end. <laughs> and it's like, well, wait a minute, maybe Philadelphia has a little fucking muscle after <laughs> all, dude. I'm a bit of a faggot in the rough. So. Well, there we go, man. Well, <laughs> Uh, folks, this is what we call the turning point, and it just became anyone's game, all right? Uh, hey, hey, two white guys on stage, I'm loving it. <laughs> Bobby Sheehan. I like that Rusty started by insulting every performer that came before him. I thought that was very cool. Yeah, you look like you say, honey, what's wrong? You barely touched the black guy I brought home to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that 
Oh, yeah. I thought maybe there was too many black jokes, but I was wrong. Thank you, guys. Um, this is very cool, and uh, Patrick's doing well. Uh, it could, it's anyone's game. I hope Patrick wins, because when he does win, it's very funny, because he doesn't write any jokes. And I think that's always very cool. And I noticed that uh, Rusty's initials are W, or RW, sorry. Yes. And I'm really waiting for the rest of the show. It's going to be great. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> <What the fuck>? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move on to round two of this main event. Four jokes straight through. We started with Patrick last time. Gonna start with Rusty now. Fight Club, what do you say? You ready to continue this main event? Four jokes straight through. Starting with Rusty. Round two starts now. Uh, Patrick looks like he comes from a long line of dead firefighters. I just thought that was accurate, to be honest. Uh, Pat looks like somebody fucked a beagle to death and then hid the body on an Indian burial ground. <laughs> Become member, all right. Patrick looks like a Make-A-Wish kid who wished to have AIDS forever. AIDS, 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 AIDS. I have AIDS. Pat looks like Zaboomafu and the guys who trained him. And by trained, I mean brutally raped. <laughs> raped. Allegedly, allegedly. Pat Haggerty. Where, where, where am I? Uh, Rusty Wright. More like, Rusty, you have the right to remain silent because you're under arrest for indecent exposure. <laughs> <Another> <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, it's Thanksgiving time, which is fitting because Rusty once killed a Navajo Indian. Another one. Another one. Rusty Wright, more like Rusty Wright, as in R-I-T-E, meaning a religious or other solemn ceremony or act. <laughs> because Rusty is a big old Jew. <laughs> and another one. Another one. One more. Rusty Wright, more like Rusty Trombone, because this guy likes to eat guys' assholes while he jerks them off. <laughs> hey, yo, what the fuck? Fight Club, give it up for round two in this main event. We'll go to our judges, Bobby Sheehan. What did you think after round two? Well, you know what? Rusty's jokes were really well thought of, set up punchline tags, but I didn't learn anything from his set, whereas <laughs> Pat taught me there's another word for right. That is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So I, I came here to laugh, but I also came here to learn. Yes. I'm going to spend a long... Uh, I'm going to give the, the mic to Joe, and I'm going to spend a long time listening. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> While we read you your last rights, and... <laughs> Joe Gorman. I, I learned something, too. I learned what the definition of a rusty trombone is. <laughs> I thought it was so much more violent, but maybe it was just like the way Patrick described it as so lovingly that I was like finally able to see it for what it is. Mm. So for that, Patrick, I thank you. Uh, however, Rusty did say faggot in round one, and that's still very funny. <laughs> so I don't, I don't fucking know, dude. It's still anyone's game. Anyone's game. I don't know. Uh, Patrick, there is one word you might be able to say <laughs> to cinch this for you, but I don't know. I, as a judge, I can't, I can't tell you what word it is specifically. But if you say multiple words and, and one of them happens to be it, you, you can win, buddy. And I know how much that means to you. <laughs> and by you can win, it means everyone in the room will hate you except one judge will vote for you. <laughs> Nico Pav. Did you guys both get your first credit on the same episode of To Catch a Predator? Uh, <laughs> all right, yeah. yeah, I caught him. Oh, nice. Good job. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Rusty, uh, just, you know, he's teaching us so much in this round. It was beautiful. But Patrick, your second round is over. You know what you gotta say. <laughs> I thought he might be gay, so I can't call him it. All right. That's <laughs> Patrick. Aren't you gay? I don't know. Patrick. <laughs> Patrick. Aren't you actually gay? Patrick. For black people. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pat, Patrick. Well, Patrick, uh, Patrick's not saying that word because he thinks Rusty might be black. Uh, <laughs> Michael Scott, your thoughts after round two? I ain't got that much this round. That wasn't either one of y'all's best round. And, uh, 
I don't know, when there's two contestants that are equally bad, I gotta, especially white boys, I'm gonna I'm I'm pick who dress better today. Uh, I don't know, you matching. You matching the shoes and the pants. I think their jokes are better than their it's outfits. It's wearing sweatpants. I'm looking at it. I don't know, well, all right, Rusty said faggot in the first round, so. <laughs> I, I, give, I give it to Rusty Brown. So you think Rusty's got the edge going into round three. Fight Club, we're going to pick a winner after round three. What do you say? You ready for round three of this main event? <laughs> round three of this Philly versus New York fight, starting with Patrick. Final round starts now. Final round. Rusty's real first name is Chris. Chris Wright. More like piss, right? Because this guy always smells like piss. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck your life! I, I don't take offense to anything he says. I know it's brain damage from riding bitch on Matt's motorcycle. Uh, in the comedy scene, Patrick's known for uh, screaming at people about gay sex. Uh, but in the gay sex scene, he's actually known as the guy with so much dick in his mouth he can't say a thing at all. Huh? What, you want some dick? Ru Rusty told me his mom is a psychologist. Yeah, well, I bet she'd be psyched if you would die. <laughs> All right, so y'all just seen that corny ass shit. Uh, give it up for give it up for the Staten Island ferry. Thank you. I'll let you. I think part of the reason that Pat is so ugly is that he's got a giant fucking butt for a chin. Uh, you look like John Travolta if he contracted Saturday Night AIDS. <laughs> AIDS, 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 I have AIDS. Rusty Wright threw javelin in high school. Yeah, well, so did I. I guess that makes us great friends, you fucking retard. <laughs> Uh-oh, retard alert. Uh, Pat told me that his father was a roofer, which means that that poor man had to retard houses just to house this retard. <laughs> Last year. Rusty right, more like rusty wrong. Hey, hey, comedy, huh? Woo. I actually just realized he hasn't said that one yet. <laughs> Uh, when the CFC guys announce Pat Haggerty, uh, they never call him a comedian. Always just the comedy goofball. I think that's because comedy goofball is the easiest way to say he's as funny as testicular cancer. <laughs> Fight Club, give it up for Patrick and Rusty! Uh, yeah, Goofy balls is how I'm only going to refer to testicular cancer from now on. <laughs> Yeah, Lance Armstrong's got a goofball. That's what it is. <laughs> We're going to go to you guys first, Fight Club. Do you think the winner overall after all three rounds is Patrick Haggerty? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> or is the winner of this fight Rusty Wright? Crowd vote goes to Rusty. Michael Scott, we'll start with you. Who do you think won this fight? Uh, of course, I'm going to give it to Rusty. Uh, mainly because he's Jew. Thank you for your vote. <laughs> I don't know. I think he... I think Pat... 2-0, to... asshole. <laughs> I think sure, Pat's still competing, so, you know... 2-0, uh, you jerk off. <laughs> I think Patrick tried to. <laughs> hey, two nothing. That's uh, two votes for Patrick, none for Rusty. I think uh, two votes for Rusty. Nico Pav. I just want to say the amount of yelling improved greatly in the third round. It was beautiful. Um, you almost said it, but. You almost did it. Almost said it. You almost said it, but you just love the energy. Huh? You almost said the N word? No. Well, hello. It's the holiday season, and tis the season. Um, uh, well, here's the thing. Rusty said retard twice in one joke, but Patrick did do a mic drop. So it's kind of like a toss-up for me. But I have to give it to Saturday Night Aids. That was that was a good one. I did like that a lot. Saturday Night Aids. So another vote for Rusty, right? Joe Gorman. 
powerful. Truly a clash of titans. <laughs> Especially in the third round. My God, these these warriors left it all on on the table, man. And I, you know who benefited most, Matt? Who? Oh. The audience. Oh. Yes. Uh, Lawrence was on the same page. He said us. But he said it in a very insightful way. Yes. Like he was able to experience the gift that we all experienced. Um, I'll, I'll give it to Rusty because he came all the way out here from Philadelphia. And he's wearing a Bart Simpson drinking a pure syrup squishy uh, on his shirt, which is a, a fucking powerful episode of The Simpsons from a now extinct cast member, Apu Nahasapina Padalon, who, who, who is no longer uh, allowed to be on TV because of another comic. <laughs> Yes. So, so that's another vote for yeah. Rusty. It's funny. We've done Fight Club in Philadelphia, in New York versus Philly. In Philly, they love the Philadelphia roast battlers. In New York, everyone thinks it's funny to vote against the New York person. <laughs> Bobby Sheehan, it's wrapped up with your final thoughts. Well, I was excited even at the beginning because I knew no matter who won, the winner was going to be a man. Yes. That's, Let's keep it going for men, folks. Men, 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 men. Actually, like honestly, and you also knew that Patrick would claim to be undefeated no matter what happened. Yes, absolutely. And Rusty, I thought you were very cool for doing a second joke with the word AIDS in it. Yes. I thought that because we yeah, chanted. I love chanting. We love participating. And I, and I want to say totally. that you, the next time someone, if you come back to Fight Club, and I hope you, uh, the next time someone says AIDS, watch Derek's face. Because he, he hits the I have AIDS button with no emotion in his face at all. It's very, just another day in the office, hitting the I have AIDS button. He's having flashbacks to the 80s. <laughs> and, and honestly, it, what people are saying, oh, Rusty, Rusty, obviously Rusty. It was so close when Patrick said the more like Rusty wrong. Did anyone have this come to Jesus moment? Like, that is the opposite of right. It's wrong. And the fucking confidence, I think, was great. But you did mention that uh, he rides bitch on Matt's motorcycle. And, uh, uh, excuse me, Matt, do I still have a ride home tonight? Yes, you do. All right, excellent. You both did great, but I'm going to give it Rusty. Another vote for Rusty Fight Club. Give it up for the winner of this main event, Rusty Ride! Always pander to the audience. Flawless, vict pl 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 flawless victory. And now to wrap us up, he's not going too far. Give it up one more time for the goofball, Patrick Haggerty! Out Goofy Goomba! Oh, wow, 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 what a show, what a Share show. A what a show. Give it up for Comedy Fight Club, everybody. Hey, Comedy Fight Club. Hello, everybody, and it's time for everyone's favorite game show. Call everyone on the show a faggot! <laughs> Call everyone on the show a faggot! It's where I mention someone who was on this show, and I... Call them a, call them a faggot. That's right! <laughs> oh, whoa, world famous! Game show. Wow, everybody, give it up for the first fight. Lauren Ritter versus Jessica Previn. Everyone. Wow, what a fight that was. Wow, those two white girls were a couple of faggots. Woo-wee! We also had Emma Kiernan versus Candace Ms. Now those two girls were very nice. All right, we're gonna keep moving. I think they're both gay, right? Are they both actually well, yeah, gay? Yeah, they're dark too, come faggots. Okay, those gay. two girls were. What's that? <laughs> That's. No way! No way! Come on! <laughs> You're. Yeah, whoa! She, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well then she's a faggot. All right, she, she. <laughs> Definitely a faggot. All right. We also had Carla Watkins versus Joseph Ferrero, everyone. Where, is, jo is Joseph still here? Is that guy? Oh, man, that was my favorite guy. That was like a Rudy moment. That was like, Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. That guy was so retarded. Man, um, oh, man. And also, he was a faggot. Yeah, man. Wow, you love this show. Uh, <laughs> We also had Diego versus Alan. Give it up for that one. Hey, Alan.
all all din matters. All din matters. All din matters. All din matters. Woo wee, man, those two were a couple of shaggers. Yeah. Wow, this is wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I found my sidekick. I found my sidekick, everyone. This is great, everyone. And those uh, those two guys at the end, the two main eventers. Now those two, I heard you're not gay. Those two were faggots. Hey, everyone. Thank you guys so much. Give it up for Comedy Fight Club. Good night. The goofball, Patrick Haggerty. Fight Club, I need to give it up for all the fights you saw on this show tonight. Give it up for our judges. This show is going to stream Thursday night, youtube.com slash comedy fight. Go subscribe to the channel. Next Sunday night, we are back at the Stand Comedy Club. Main event will be our very own Bobby Sheehan. Facing off against the Philadelphia Rose Battle Champion, Romy Rosner. Another New York vs. Philly battle. Thank you all very much. See you next time. <laughs>